and then I get lifted late at night. So, you know, it's not like I'm getting stupid high and forgetting. She can't even blame that. I'm just tired and just slow. And sometimes I just don't want to do my chores, right? Like everybody. There's days, like weekends. Weekends for us. It's like, okay, Saturdays, clean everything. I still haven't cut my back lawn last like, from last weekend. So it's due. It's definitely due. Ah, my back. My back, my back is there, definitely there. But, uh, ooh, welcome to the business of the run. Thank you for following. So many people send automatic messages when you follow them, which is cool, but it really disconnects, right? It really disconnects. Don't send the same thing to every single person, send something a little bit new. Say a little something, something from your heart, right? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Alright. <clears throat> Peace and love makes me want to go. Mmm. Mmm. One. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love. Alright. Back over here. We are going to do this. So, yeah, you know what? We are. We were at. 419 followers on Twitter. I think we're still there. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check. Drum roll, please. 421. Yes. You know what? I was hoping to, to be there when I noticed the 420. But you know what? We still, we would have hit it. We just didn't see it. But it still happened. If you go to the, the Twitter account right now, check it out. 421 followers. That's super crazy. I'm super thrilled about that. Thanks so much, guys. Um... And for those of you who are liking and sharing and, uh, you know, retweeting our, our content, especially on Twitter, uh, thank you very much. Um, sometimes I think maybe people enjoy what we post more than uh, the podcast. But you know what? That's cool. That's cool. I still like the podcast. So I'm going to keep podcasting. Why not? Or podcasting, right? Right? <laughs> right, yes, dear. But yeah, okay. So we're going to hit the stab again. So in, because, because we hit and surpassed the 420 followers, we're going we're gonna to keep dabbing on this. We're going to get pre lifted here. All right, now let's see if we can keep that score streak going and not cough. <clears throat> so I, I think it's pretty impressive so far, for me at least. Let's do it though. It's cough time. time. Pretty good. It's when I take in a deep breath is when I want to cough, though. It's weird. Can anybody tell me why that is? I don't know. I don't know. I want to cough. I can take a sip instead. Oh. <clears throat> Fuck it. Let's just rip it. Oh. We're going to rip it. A new one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that one was... Ick. All right, right now, just looking up. I'm watching 8 Mile. Anybody remember that one? <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Alright, couldn't hold it off. Uh, you know what, whatever. Watching 8 Mile with Eminem and of course Brittany, Brittany Murphy. Does anybody remember her? She was freaking hot. Now I'm watching this scene where she's getting naked very much and they're getting it on where he works. She's pretty hot. That's all I'm going to say. 
he looks like an idiot in any hair color. <laughs> I just, I'm not a fan of Eminem. I like his music, though, most of it. But as an actor, he's not that good. However, 8 Mile is a classic, which is it's funny to say is a classic. But uh, I still think it's a classic. It's, it's a good movie. I like it. Check it out if you haven't seen it. <sighs> all right, let's keep hitting this pen. Because I want to get all the stab in. So much in there. Damn, that was a big piece I put in there, I guess. <laughs> Let's hit it again. Mm, that one was actually pretty tasty. But this is, I think, that point where in reality is, it probably tastes like the burnt rubber because, you know, the heating. <laughs> But the nice part is, because I'm so high, it's fantastic. It doesn't matter. I like it. Now, this is the cool thing. The, the high... <coughs> God. Duh. The high, the difference, I find at least, between smoking just straight shatter or versus flour or flour and shatter, it's completely different. It's so different. I feel so much more in control, and yet I'm super lifted. It's fantastic. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to. This is nice. No wonder shatter can be a little expensive, and people, why some people can go through a lot of it. But hey, man, if you can afford it, do it. Oh, stuff is fantastic, though. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm. Burnt rubber. Just the way mom used to make it. I know I'm probably... Some would say, dude, but dream shatter. I know. But short of what, hot knifing it? What the fuck would I do? How would I do this? Unless I get some, a better system. So, you know. <coughs> damn it. When somebody sends you shatter, our friends at BudZone.ca, we gotta find a way to use it. Right? We gotta find a way to use it. Because it's not like if somebody... It, I mean, if anybody gave you shatter, you're gonna smoke it. Right? You're gonna smoke it. But when a dispensary sends you some shatter, just because... They're awesome. You know, I gotta smoke it. I gotta smoke it. The first night I had it all, I didn't touch it. No, I think I tried to uh, smoke it a little bit on a this other stupid fucked up pen, and it just fucking... Yeah, that was the whole burnt fucking sock. Now, as bad as burnt rubber tastes like, a burnt sock? Ugh. No, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. No way. It's gross. It's disgusting. You just don't want to do it. <sighs> All right. So, where are we here? What are we listening to? What are we listening to? Ah, the Puff Cat. This is the, uh... I had renamed the song. can't remember what the exact title was. But it's from our friends on bensound.com. Most of what we play is from bensound.com. Um, of course, if you're listening from Speaker from the Spreaker website or on uh, Spreaker app, you will see the notifications of the song titles and uh, everything from Ben Sound is linked properly in there. Has it in there? So the other stuff is either my personal makings or music from. Uh, some is from SoundCloud. Everybody, all the names are the original names. I haven't altered any of them. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking. But I can't stop talking because I'm doing a podcast. But I'm going to move on because I'm a little lifted. And I'm finding it hard to focus on what the hell I was trying to talk about because it wasn't making sense. But, you know. I did find it super cool, actually. Uh, I think last night, this morning, today. 
I came across some, several actually, dispensaries down in Toronto on uh, Twitter. And of course, you guys know, I'm Canadian. Go Canada! But I love coming across other Canadians in the cannabis industry. Now, I'm not saying I'm in the cannabis industry. Obviously, I'm not. I just, I get high and I podcast. I'm just a happy enthusiast. But coming across dispensaries, head shops, I think that's so cool finding them on Twitter, right? And interacting with them. Um, because there's just, it's just, Twitter is this remarkable, remarkable to network. I find it beats the shit out of Facebook. Facebook is fucking stupid. Twitter is minimal. It's minimalistic. It's raw. It's to the point. It doesn't let you say a fucking story. It's... You get a paragraph. Get your point out in there or do several point posts, right? It just... It's 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 there. It's raw. There's no extra bullshit. It doesn't give you time to tell a fucking story about how goddamn... Uh, and I rarely say that. If you listen to previous podcasts, you know I rarely say that. <laughs> But some people, when they're on social media, all they do is bitch and moan. And woe is me. Oh, my life. Oh, my sorrows. Oh, my stress. That must be hard on you. I get that. I sympathize with you. I may not understand, but I sympathize. You have my empathy. Well, I try to sympathize as much as I can, but you have my empathy. I empathize with you. But there's a pattern with some people. That you see them constantly just being so negative, so run down, so, you know, please, please, please look at me mentality. And they do this every couple of days. It's like, oh my god. I realize you have mental health issues as well. All your own things. You have your own stressors in life. Life must be hard and this must be the worst, hardest thing at the moment to you. And you know what? Being able to reach out to others for help is is huge. But just ask for that help. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But we all have to learn how to do that. Instead of just making a big storybook about everything. Just... we got to start putting our pride aside. And that's what gets a lot in the way a lot with things. Asking for help. It doesn't matter if it's for your personal like mental health, your physical health... Whatever, it could be just a simple thing at work or whatever, anything. Asking for help. How often do we ask for help? Rare. Let's face it, rare. Men rarely do. Uh, I think women, they do it more, but in a very roundabout way. Instead of just, ooh, epiphany. Maybe she's asking for help in her roundabout way. Because it's easier than just not right? Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give her some slack, because I just clued into something right there. So, maybe I should message her, reach out to her, and see if I could help her through her her moments, right? Instead of me bitching about it, boom, see? That's uh, the life lesson learned there. It's, don't be a dick, because I, I think I, maybe I was a little bit of a dick, but some people I do find just like the attention of people coming to their aid. Anyways, anyways, you know what? Mental health is a bitch. Either way you slice it, it is a bitch. Not so good. Very good. Not so very good. No, no, no. no. Break the stigma, bitches. Break the stigma. And show some love. Somebody like my post? Ooh, a lot of people like my post. Whoa! You know what? I'm going to give a huge shout out here to the, the folks that what are we doing podcast because they just l- showed us a lot of love on Instagram and liked a shit ton of our posts so you know what I'm going to throw that up right now show my appreciation to these guys and I, I it could be guys if it's girls I'm sorry I haven't heard the podcast yet <laughs> but thank you thank you very much thank you very much alright well, let's give a shout out to what are we doing podcast shout out to at to not hashtag what not e what oh my gosh what not ww what ah see the